had a few deliveries. Andrew has made this, Andrew Law, with his laser cutter, the big one that I unloaded last summer. I think it's brilliant. And if you look, it's kind of a theme, like the silver letters on a piece of wood. Who else has that for the farm shop? Does anyone know? I think you know. Leave a comment. Also, we've had some goodies from Bateman, which is basically a big hose, which I'll take out the box so you can see better. This is the goodies from Bateman. It's basically a long hose that couples to the back of the sprayer. So if you want to empty it out, if you get rained off one product and want to go on to something else, you can blast it out into an IBC, or you can use it for like washing machines down with, it, with that sort of high volume water or as a fire engine, basically. Then this is a three inch to two inch cam coupler converter with no O-ring inside for some reason. There's no O-ring. Hmm. Yeah, I think there should be an O-ring in the bottom of there so it works better. Anyway, if anyone from Bateman's watching, has it fell out on the, on the way because it isn't in the bottom of the box. But that clips on the back and reduces the, the, the cam fitting on the back from three inch to two inch cam coupling, which is the size that we use at the moment for liquid fur. But if we want to, we can use the three inch cam coupling, which has nearly double the flow. So if you want to fill up with liquid fur quick, we can do. This is the hydraulic fast fill pump on the sprayer. So you obviously unclip this cap, which is stuck on in suction, I think. Oof. Because it's never been off, bit of newness. It's a two-handed job, hold on. There we go, it's off now. There is a seal in that cap. So presumably there is a seal missing out of that. Anyway, that fits on there now. So that's three inch. And it reduces it down. It's two inch. Live on there then. You clip it around with these, these they call them cam couplers because like a cam in there that locks on that ring when you flip it around. If you look in the top, that's it locked and that's it unlocked. So the bit slides in and grips. So it slides over that lip and then grips in there. Quite clever. Made by Banjo, genuine Banjo. But yeah, it just needs a rubber. Roundabout update. There's a few curbs on the left. Scan around, Olivia. And then no curbs on the right. A bit of a drain. Everything's parked up. Not much progress. Right, turn that. Just found this on the floor. It's like a piece of a £20 note. Looks like it's gone for a mower. Can't find the rest of it though. So Amy's doing the talking today. Where have you come from? Bridge, um, Devon Whittingham. <laughs> and a bit of sunflower maze getting wet. And she knows high vis Liz. Yeah, high vis Liz, yeah, from work. <laughs> Liz hates me doing that. Yeah. <laughs> and we're still by the sprayer. On my way down to the maze now, because we now spin play on his crop master. And for some reason it's cut out, we don't know why. So we're gonna go and see what's wrong with it. So he's charged the battery up because he's flattened it trying to start it. So I don't know it's run out of diesel, or it's got something in the diesel, I don't know. Bit of volunteers, I think it's actually brome growing in a couple of the bales on the mini bale maze. So the crop math that is up there, conked out. We want to see what's wrong. Right, if there's anyone old that's watching, is that a lift pump? Does that need to twist and pump up and down? Because we think it's just got air in it and that's why it won't start. So it drove from up there and conked out. So we think maybe the, the fuel siphoned back or whatever, it's got air in it and that's why it's not going. So it's turning over now, but just not firing properly. It's just the odd splutter. Found the decompression lever up there. So we're going to wind it over and pull the fuel through. Nearly. There's a lift pump this. It's all right, keep going. It's just cranking over and only start on one cylinder. So does anyone know? It's got a tap here, the two sides of the tank, and it's got two filler caps. Does that mean that? It runs on, it's got two diesel tanks, or did it used to be because it was TVO and paraffin, they use the same tank? 
but for some reason we can't get it to start and that bowl's now full but it just keeps cranking over so i don't know if you need to connect these ejectors but we'll do that tomorrow the plan was to be spraying today but just when i was about to go it started to rain i thought oh it'll blow over anyway it didn't it got worse and worse and worse and then it stopped and i thought oh I'll be able to go again in a minute then it started again anyway it's fine now but it's too late in the day now it's probably a bit tacky on the top so hopefully tomorrow's a better day it's been unfortunate because i did want to get this pre-emergence spray on onto some of the corn before any sort of weed seeds start to grow the sunflowers now are as big as the merlot at this end of the field at least They've really grown quite a bit them ones the ones the other side of their fence which I can walk down to see yeah they're like they've got to be eight foot to be fair them i know that is a bit maybe merlot but they've got to be eight foot they're pretty much dead now and hopefully it'll start to ripen and we'll be able to combine them hopefully there's a market for the seed as well let's go across the road and see if the wheat's coming up a few pigeons flying off can't just see any wheat growing just yet just looking in the gateway now got the lines there from the drill but there's no sign of anything yet the weeds now all dying off as well so that's all going yellow and brown and dead so hopefully in a few days the field will start to green up from wheat new shoots coming up kind of like the barley was the other day and this will all die back give, give it a bit of ground cover in case we get any heavy rain as well and protect it a bit but just nothing coming just yet hopefully the them volunteer well not volunteer beans them spilt beans from harvest to what the pigeons are eating on and not the wheat seed I can't see any wheat seed on the surface anyway, which is good because this is one of them fields we weren't sure whether the drill was acting up on. Or oh, we didn't have set properly. Not really the drill's fault, just a bit counterintuitive how the screen works on it. Lots of people were saying after yesterday's video I need a play button on that locker and the one on the other side. I think it's probably right because it's the same shape as the YouTube logo because they isn't actually round like the hubs. And I can't believe how many people I had a bit of a fit because I took the sticker off the front that said Bateman. Now, it still says Bateman at the top there and a Union Jack, so I didn't see why it needed it twice on the front. And also, knowing Bateman, it'd be like 30 pence for a new sticker if they needed a new sticker. So that is why it's got the YouTube sticker on. I did want it to come, like I say, like that on the day of delivery, but I forgot to send them a sticker to put on. So that's why it came with a red Bateman sticker on, and that's why I took it off with the jet wash yesterday. But people were having a meltdown that I was taking the stickers off a brand new machine, but like I say, It'd have been 30 pence, I bet. I'll ask Bateman, actually. Ask Bateman how much that sticker is in case you ever need one. And, you know, I know once, years ago, I resprayed a Dowswell plough and I wanted the stickers to go on it. And I asked Dowswell how much the stickers are. And they're like, they're free. It's our plough. We want people to put our stick, our name on our ploughs. And it didn't actually cost a thing. So, anyway, I'll find out off Bateman so you know. Still got the wrapper on the uh, step there as well because it's still new as long as I leave that on. Same with the combine with the plastic on the seat. But, yeah, could put a play button on there, maybe one on here. But it's not quite the same this side because it's not got the, it's got the induction hopper in the way. Been a bit of a steady weekend really because no field work going on, too wet to spray. So the fast track has been tucked up in the shed with the rolls on which were last used on Thursday night before the rain. Was it Friday? It's Wednesday? I can't remember now. What day are we on? Uh, must have been Thursday night, yeah. So Andrew was out until quite late on Thursday night rolling from different fields and stuff that we'd had to move the soil on. Look at the acid rain already, made them go orange. That's because they were parted out when we had that downpour. Also the drill was parted out when we had that downpour. So the disc had started to go a little bit orange but then we did use it again on friday afternoon just to patch up them little bits anyway this is already still set up on oilseed rape so depending on the weather tomorrow we might go and stitch some cover crop into a field and we'll use oilseed rape as the cover crop and then if it grows it grows if it doesn't we scrap it and start again because it's going to be spring barley anyway and we're going to do some drainage on there but we'll put that on to give it some root structure and grow some carbon and a bit of biomass so the fence also tucked up in the shed as well so yeah Steady weekend, went to see the sunflower maze yesterday, wanted to get some spraying done today, not already got it done. Been trying to start that tractor, that's why my hands are a bit black and smell of diesel. But if anyone knows what that tap does, obviously we found out that that is a lift pump, now we've managed to get it unscrewed. But I'll have to get some imperial spanners and crack the injectors to see if we can get the air out of it as well. Another one last thing actually, if you look up at the top of that shed up there, you might remember from last year, I put a spout, that is the overflow for the gutter. If it overflows over the end, we've cut a weir in it, but obviously if it overflowed, it'd overflow into this shed now it overflows in the top corner up there little spout so the other day when it was raining that hard that was running full belt as well because there was just so much water 
I sound like a salesman for Haycat, but I'm not, honestly. But I just think they're really good because we've got all this straw stacked outside. I don't know how many hundred bales we've got here. But the rain we've had over the last few days, we've had about 20 mil of rain now. That is the equivalent of, of about 30 kilos of water landing on each of them top bales. And anyway, it's just shed it off, obviously, because of the hay caps. So I think that's right. If someone else wants to do the maths on 2.4 meters by 1.2 meters. Oh, actually, no, I've got it wrong. It's more than that because I worked it out at 0 0.7, but that's the depth. It's the width is 2 point, is 1.2. Yeah, I think it's about 60 kilos of water. Ignore the pink bag. So if anyone else wants to work it out, so 10, uh, 20 mil of rain on 1.2 meter wide bale by 2.4 meters long. What does that equate to in weight of water or liters? Yesterday I mentioned that I get inundated by people saying, can they have a shout out? And I said, no, not unless it's your birthday. Unfortunately, that was the worst thing I could have done because now I've been inundated with people whose birthday is today. Even the people that have been to the Sunflower Maze, it was one of them's birthday. I forgot his name. Really sorry about that. I met you like 20 minutes ago, but sorry. Yeah, so that's the list of people whose birthday it is. And some of them are actually in New Zealand as well. And someone said, can you give me son a birthday shout out? But they didn't say what the son's name is. So that's Gadget Fitzgerald's son is nine. But... Gadget Fist Gerald just sounds like a YouTube name, so I have no idea whose birthday it is. But yeah, I shouldn't have said that. So no, uh, I don't generally do this kind of thing because everyone else who's not their birthday isn't is probably now bored listening to me waffle on about that. But people that have asked nicely for the sons or the husbands or whatever or the wife's birthday, then I have obviously done them. But I don't want to do it all the time because if there's 25, 4,000 people nearly watching or subscribing... It's going to be like 100 people's birthday nearly every day, isn't it? This, you know, by, by laws of average. So I can't do that all the time. But if people do ask nicely and I do have time, I will try and fit it in. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, hopefully tomorrow is a dry day. We can get some field work done. Try and get a load more wheat in. We've got some wheat to sow after rape as well. So if you want to another, watch another video, click up here. If you want to subscribe, it's over there. Guess when we're going to hit 25,000. We're nearly at 24,000. I mean, it might be by the time you're watching this video, but we're quite a little way off that anyway. And if we get to 100,000, we get a YouTube plaque as well. So I'll see you all tomorrow.